Transport Minister Glennis Hannah Martin says night flights are pending for five family islands, finally lifting the crippling daylight flying restrictions. Now, she was addressing Parliament yesterday when she also made a push for women's rights proposals to take root. Here's Diane Thompson. Minister of Transport and Aviation and member for Angliston, the Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, before addressing new projects in her ministry, expressed the ongoing discrimination Bahamian women face in their country. Hannah Martin stated that while Parliament has committed to eliminate discrimination of all kinds against Bahamian women, it's time to follow through. Most notably for me, we commemorated the 50th anniversary of women participating for the first time in 1962 in the result of a general election vote count. Yes. Today, women, albeit in relatively small numbers, five of the 38 to be exact, sit in this honorable house as representatives of the people. And so significant progress has been made. But Mr. Speaker, there's so much more ground to be covered. Mr. Speaker, we must continue to seek to eradicate the remnants of cultural bias against women in our social setting, and indeed, Mr. Speaker, even in this honorable house. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the voices of women must be empowered in our country and in the political realm, and in particular, in political organizations. With respect to her ministry, Hannah Martin said several family islands will get an economic boost by early 2014, when night flights will be introduced to five major islands. We are preparing the groundwork for the commencement of night flights to five airports in the country, Lydia. namely Marsh Harbor, yes. North Eleuthera, yes. Exuma, yes. Governors Harbor, yes. and San Salvador, Mr. Yes. Speaker. Yes. Well, Speaker, we estimate really the good. necessary works to be completed, we're hopeful, in the first quarter of next year. Speaker, I do not think I will have to elaborate, especially for those people who live in those community communities, on the enormous potential this new paradigm will have on the economies of these islands. Yes, sir. Another project is the expansion of the yacht registry. Hannah Martin also told members of a partnership with tourism. My ministry, in conjunction with the Ministry of Tourism, is developing a strategic plan for the redevelopment of Prince George Dock. A comparative review has already begun of ports worldwide, so as to determine the appropriate model for the Bahamas. Hannah Martin stated that there are ongoing talks with the United States about the Bahamas' airspace, which is currently controlled by the U.S., and who collects fees on this service. Dealing with this matter, she concluded, is critical. For the ZNS Network News, I'm Cyan Thompson.